These are amazing classic car stories. This photo, taken in 1978, was carried in the wallet of proud dad Shimon Papala. It was taken on the parking lot of the Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. Almost 30 years later, Ramana, the baby in the photo, recreated the image with his son in the exact same spot. The photo was taken about when I was nine months old after a pediatrician appointment over here at Rush. And I thought, I wonder what happened to that car. The process to track down the car took years. Romana found a 1970s Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme in the exact same color as his dad's at an auction. They transported the car to Chicago and surprised Shyman with his iconic car. Afterward, the entire family took a photo with the car in the exact same background as their original treasured image. This surprise was a lifetime in the making. Are you kidding me? This is, I'm, I'm speechless. In 2018, Jeannie Pinto was brought to tears when she was surprised with the car she always dreamed of having. I don't even know what to say. The family bought a 1963 Chevy Nova. For six years, Jeannie's son Donnie secretly restored the convertible without her knowing. We bought it sight unseen. We thought we're just gonna, you know, put in some seats and put on a carburetor and then drive this car down the road. And when we saw it, we're like, oh my gosh. We were missing almost every piece. Dad Tony told Jim Array that he was in charge of ordering all the parts. Did you ever think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be caught? Yeah, many, many times because it's pretty hard to fool her. Finally, the big reveal. Are you kidding me? You knew nothing about this. Nothing. Didn't but expect no, nothing. The last time she was in a Chevy Nova, she was just 14, being driven home by a friend. It was the same day her father had died from heart failure. I just fell in love with the car when I was 14, and it just never changed. You're in the convertible and your hair is blowing. This car is so sassy. This beautiful Amazon green 1974 BMW is a lost American treasure. I know the car. I'm a BMW enthusiast overall. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. For a 74, this is in pristine condition. It's Jackie Kennedy's car. She paid $13,000 for it. And in 2016, it was on the market for $295,000. It had the original title and registration papers signed by Jacqueline Bouvier Onassis. This is history and, and overall is a piece of artwork here. This car was the only car that Jackie ever owned. This car has 65,000 original miles. John F. Kennedy Jr. and Caroline grew up in the back seat of this car. The car came with leather seats, power windows, fog lights, a cassette tape player, and ashtrays. And it was in great shape. There's actual little scratches she, that she made when she used to fidget with her keys and her bracelets. In 2016, this car didn't work. <laughs> but it had a unique place in American history. I believe this is the last car that Hillary Clinton has ever driven. It's a 1986 Cutlass Sierra. Mike Lawn, who once worked as the official White House gardener, purchased the sedan at an auction for $2,000 when the Clintons left the White House in 2000. The original title, found in the glove compartment, even had Hillary's name. And the original sales receipt, dated March 20th in 1986, showed just how much she bought it for. These are Mrs. Clinton's keys and key ring. Um, it came with the car. Mike bought the car for his daughter, Nicole. She needed a car for school. She was turning 16. She was excited at first. I was like, oh my gosh, Hillary Clinton's car. This is so cool. But her delight quickly disappeared. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. It was like, whoa, this is some blue velvet <laughs> seats. You know, no offense to Mrs. Clinton, but just not my style. <laughs> a little too old for me. In October of 2023, a car owner went back to the future just by opening a barn. Ah, uh, well, it's a DeLorean, right? Bear with me, Marty. All your questions will be answered. This 1981 DeLorean was sitting in a Wisconsin barn for almost 20 years. The new owner of the car told WDJT about the person who kept the DeLorean so long. He said he would go out in the barn and just look at it because he thought it was a really cool car. It was in prime condition with its original tires. And since 1981, the engine had only racked up 977 miles. Once I found out the car was close, 
and it was a low mileage car, I was excited to go take a look. After barely seeing the road, the 1981 DeLorean will soon be revamped. To take a car from this condition to what I know we can do with it is just, you know, that's, that's an adventure anybody wants to be on. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindoll.